All right, back here on UFC Live. John Anik now privileged to be joined by the venerable Teddy Atlas and no better man to ask, really, about Max Holloway. He has declared himself as the best boxer in the UFC. Kind of hard to argue otherwise. How do you see him? I'm not arguing. I'm not going to argue with a guy like him. I mean, not only his talent, but the longevity, the amount of time that he's done it, the consistency with it. And I love the dimensional part of him. You know, he can box, he can use his legs. He's very agile. You know, he uses the jab. The jab does set everything up for him. It sets the table so then he can go eat with his other punches, like the right hand and different combinations. But he can go get you. You know, he, he's famous for his engine, just like his opponent is, but and his durability. But he can go get you. He can track you down. He could go inside, you know, go into the kitchen and get something to eat. Huh. Um, it, you know, he can do it all. He give you angle. Matter of fact, his legs are so good, and not in a kicking way, the way that Gage's legs are. But, um, of course, he can kick. But his legs are so good that they set up his defense and his offense. You know, they set up his offense by getting angles, where he gets different positions. Yeah, they agree. They, agree. they do. They agree. They're really enjoying they, your analysis out here. I, I enjoy that. They get the different angle. He gets different angles. He gets an opportunity to set up his offense. But it also plays into his defense because he keeps a guy like A.G., a guy who's strong, a guy who's conventional, a guy who's going to walk in and look to land something big, maybe land the counter right hand. Right. Keeps him off balance. You know, you can gauge he's the better puncher, but you can't have power if you're not set. And that's part of the plan with Holloway with the legs. Keeps you off balance, sets up his offense and his defense. All right, let's switch focus to the red corner. As you heard from Max, Justin Gagey, the first man to actually have a title defense of this BMF belt. Pretty tremendous striker, Teddy Gagey, in his own right. What are your thoughts on what he might be trying to do strategically here? Great striker. Power, always balanced, in position, conventional. You have every conventional kind of striker, you know, what fan friendly. You know, where where you you go in there and say, I'm gonna see aggression, you know, I'm gonna see an attack. I might see a KO. You know, he's he's a guy that puts fannies in his seats. He's gonna have to in this fight, he's going to have to take away the jab. If he if he's not, if that is not his fight plan, then I don't know what fight plan you would have. You have to find a way, if you can't take away Holloway's jab, negate the jab. What do I mean by that? At least make him think about it. Don't let him dominate. Don't. It's kind of like if you, we just watched the NCAA, you know, and you, you got a play in the, in the center. You're not going to let him beat you. Let someone right, else right. beat you. Well, the same thing. Don't let the jab beat you. So you're going to have to look for counter right hands to take away the jab. And one other thing, Gage is going to have to show his own jab. It doesn't right. have to match sure. the punch numbers, but just enough to give him something to worry about. No overstating how much you always add to our coverage. The great Teddy Atlas with us here for UFC 300.